welcome back to Glam Me Up. Today I'm going to be doing another Look for Lust video and I've done one of these before and I was comparing an Elf and NARS duo but this time I'm going to be comparing a tool and here I have a Sigma brush and then an Elf brush. I like comparing higher end products to Elf products because they're so extremely cheap and they always like kind of mimic other brands that way they can have like good dupes and stuff. So I'm going to be comparing the Sigma HD flat top synthetic kabuki and then the e.l.f. powder brush. And then I'll sh I have the packaging here for the e.l.f. one so you can see it just comes in a thing like this. And it just says um, it can be used wet or dry. Um, it's actually a studio, studio brush. It says it gives full coverage, um, can use with powder, or blush, contouring, anything. So I really love this brush. It has multiple uses. You can use it for powder all over your face. You can use it to contour, blush, foundation, anything you like. And also just to point out, if you guys haven't already noticed, I did dye my hair. I dyed it like a dark brown. It used to be um, like a lighter brown as my natural hair color, and then I had blonde and red highlights. And this is just all over a dark brown color. Um, I don't know the color because I got it done in a salon, but um, just, I don't know if you guys noticed it, but it's all just brown, dark brown now. So, But anyways, back to comparing these. Um, I used this one for foundation and I recently saw this and I knew I had to pick it up because it seemed very similar so I'm just going to be comparing them side by side, how they perform with um, liquid foundation, powder foundation, contouring, all that kind of stuff. I've already done my makeup so I'm not going to be doing it on my face but I can kind of show you on my hands. I can do blush and stuff on my face to show you but the way that these perform are very similar and they're great dupes for each other so this is kind of like a battle of the brands as well but I am planning on doing some battle of the brands videos those are not really have to do with price they're kind of more just comparing two products that are very similar these have a huge price difference so I'm going to be comparing um, the two and showing you that you can get the same thing for a cheaper price you don't have to spend a lot of money to look great so let's go ahead and get into it so the first comparison of these brushes is with a liquid foundation. I'm just going to be using my CoverGirl Nature Lux foundation. I used to use this a lot, but I just recently switched to powder. I'm just going to be putting a little dot on each part of my hand, and I'm going to show you just how they blend it out. Um, I probably should have started with like the texture of the brushes. Basically, this one is very, very dense. It's flat, as you can tell, and it's really stiff, so it's going to blend out your foundation. It's synthetic brushes, so the tips are white. Um, it's not like real hair or anything, and it just blends really nicely, but it's pretty stiff, so sometimes it can be kind of hard to blend. This one is synthetic bristles as well, but they're all black. It seems like it's like a dome, kind of like a triangle dome shape, um, and it's very flat too, and this one's not as dense. It kind of gives a little bit more, so this one would be probably better for powder, but we're going to compare them using a foundation. So I'm going to start off with, actually I'm going to start off with the Sigma one, so I'm just going to blend that right here. I'm hoping the lighting is going to show this since I'm not doing it on my face. So that blends it out really nicely with a liquid foundation. So it blends perfectly into my skin. So now we're going to try it with the e.l.f. one just to see if it does the same. And I haven't done this yet, so this is kind of my first impression comparison. So I can give you guys a true um, comparison here. And that blended it out just as well too. So you've got the e.l.f. on this side and then the Sigma brush on this one. And you cannot even tell, you can't even see any of the foundation, um, even though it does blend nicely into my skin. If I look closely, it actually looks like the e.l.f. one blended it more flawlessly. Like it's got, it covered my pores more. It seems like I have more coverage with this one. Um, on this side, it seems like I can still kind of see my pores like it didn't give me as much coverage and I think maybe it absorbed more into this brush because I can see the product on the brush so it seems like this might have absorbed a little bit more but they still blend it um, nicely for both of them so this one did seem to do a little bit better with the liquid foundation just because I feel like I got more coverage because it's not as dense so I think it wasn't like moving it as round as much it was kind of just blending it right into the skin so, and it also doesn't even look like it soaked anything up. It's still all black. There's no product on here. So that seemed to do a really good job with the liquid foundation. So I'm just going to clean the brushes. That way there's no liquid foundation on here to interfere with the powder. And then I will be right back. I also wanted to real quick show you guys how the foundation, the liquid foundation blends out. I actually used just a plastic thing that came out of an e.l.f. thing. And this is the Sigma side and this is the e.l.f. side. So as you can see, it blended that foundation exactly the same. This one a little bit more coverage than that one, but about the same overall. 
Okay, so now I'm going to be comparing the two using a powder foundation. And this is my current foundation I've been using. I love it. I'm going to be doing a new foundation routine with this soon. This is just the Bare Minerals Matte. It's perfect foundation, very high coverage. Um, but it kind of depends on how you apply this stuff. Since it is pretty talky, it does stick to your skin good. You need a brush that's really going to buff it in, but you also don't want to use too much, so you don't want to use a small brush. So I've tried using both of these with it, and I'm just going to show you here on my hand which one blends it the best. So there's already a little bit here on my lid, because um, you're supposed to put the product here in the lid first. I'll start off with the Sigma one. So you just swirl it around like this, you tap it, keep swirling it just to get the excess off. And then I'm just going to buff it right here onto my hand. You guys probably aren't even going to be able to see this, but I can still kind of look at it to explain it to you guys. So this seems to really blend it in nicely. Um, it kind of seems a little bit sticky because this is so dense that I'm using a dry product, but it's still covered really nicely. But I know from experience when I use this on my face, I find that I use a lot more of the foundation because it is a smaller brush instead of like a kabuki brush, which I've actually been using to apply this foundation with. This gives a really good coverage, but it's a very thick coverage because it doesn't spread it around on your face as much. It kind of just sticks it in one spot. And you can really buff it in nicely because it's dense, but you can't really spread it around your face very good. But if you wanted to just use this on your cheeks or something for a lot of coverage, it does give a really nice powdery coverage. So it definitely blends it nicely. So then I'm just going to try a little bit with my e.l.f. brush here. So I put a little bit in the lid, swirl it around, tap it off, keep swirling it until I see an even amount here on the brush, and then I'm just going to buff it right here on my hand. And I cleaned off my hand too from before. So this seemed to apply it pretty nicely. Um, I don't see as much as a coverage it probably spread it around a little bit more. So this might actually be pretty good to use with the foundation, the powder foundation instead. It's kind of just whatever your preference is. So it seems to buff it in nicely. I don't see any like spots where it's not blended or anything and it blended in pretty smoothly. So they both did about the same. Um, this one seemed to spread it further though than this one, obviously because this one is more dense. So they both work pretty well. Um, but I still like using my Kabuki brush for applying that foundation just kind of because of the texture of it. But both of these still work pretty good for it, but I prefer using the e.l.f. one to apply that foundation. So then if you were going to be using this with the regular powder, this is just my Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. And this one is in light medium. It's actually too light for me from MAC. Um, so when I apply my powder, I actually like using this brush more for it because it kind of just blends it nicely into the skin and it applies a lighter coverage since it is just a pressed powder. Or if you used it with a loose powder, this would be really good. This brush I don't think would be good for this just because it's so dense and stuff, it wouldn't really just lightly spread on the powder. If you wanted to use this as a foundation though, then this would be a good brush for it because it would make it maximum coverage and it could blend it really nicely into the skin. But if you wanted to just do an all over powder just to set your makeup, then this would be good for that. Um, I can just show you guys a little demonstration. So. You can just swirl it around a little bit to where you've got foundation on it, or not foundation, but powder on it like that. And you just buff it like onto your nose and down onto your chin or wherever. And it really just creates like a flawless finish to where you're just adding a little bit of powder, powder lightly, but you're not applying too much product. So this brush definitely works better if you're going to be applying your pressed powder. So now I'm going to move on to contouring with both of these brushes. I'm going to be using my NARS Laguna Bronzer for this, and I have a little bit of contour going on right now. I just use an angled brush, but I want to show you guys probably on my hand just to show you how this blends nicely with both brushes. So I'm going to start off with the Sigma one, and I don't really prefer using this for contour because I find it applies too much color since it's so dense and stuff, it doesn't spread around nicely, but we'll just put a little bit, just dab it like that, and buff it onto your hand, or my hand here. So it applies it nicely, it does blend it out really well. I guess if you just wanted to contour right here in the hollows of your cheeks, it would work really well. But if you wanted it to be more kind of spread out and look more natural like a bronzer, then this brush would work better for it. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit here and put it right here on my cheeks. Kind of just gives a nice contour and this kind of just spreads it around more. So if you had a larger face, then this would probably work better for you because it is a larger brush since it spreads out more. So I'm just gonna show you guys up close here on my hand. You probably can't even really see anything. I do have product on here though. So 
this blends it really nicely as well. So they both work really well for blending in blush. I mean, um, bronzer. It just kind of depends on what type of face shape you have. So they both work really so well. So now I'm going to compare these two using a blush. And you could use a cream blush or a powder brush for this. I think that they would both work pretty well for it. So I'm going to start off with a cream blush. This is my NYX Rouge Cream Blush. And this is in hot pink. I chose this that way you guys could really see it on camera. So I'll start off with this Sigma brush. I'm just going to dip a little bit, just get a little bit of the product on there. You don't want too much of this stuff. And I'm just going to blend it onto my hand here. So this seems like it makes it kind of spotted, like it's not really blending it evenly. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but in person it kind of looks like it's just kind of blending it out, but it's not really blending it out as well as I would like it to. So it is blending it. You could use this for that if you didn't have like a stippling brush, which is what I like to use for it. But with cream blushes, especially a hot pink one like this, you want a really light coverage. So a really dense brush like this is going to apply too much blush. So I'm going to try it using this one instead. So I'm going to just dip a little bit in here, get a little bit on there like that. And then I'm going to put this right here. So this looks like it even applied more. Maybe I just dipped it more or something. But it is blending it out easier. Even though it's less dense, it's actually is blending it out a little bit better. Not really showing up. I'm sorry, this lighting is not good for this kind of video. Should have done it in natural. So they both blend it pretty well. Um, might be able to see it if I like shadow it. I don't know, but they both seem to blend it pretty well. Um, this one seemed to have applied more than that one. I still do prefer using a stippling, a stippling brush though to apply cream blush. So, but you could use either one of these brushes. I would probably prefer using the Elf one just because I felt like it blended a little bit better. But this is going to apply too much color unless you use like a light cream blush or something. So now I'm going to show you with a powder blush, and this is just my Hard Candy Box in a Box blush. Um, so I'm going to start off with the e.l.f. one this time. I'm just going to swirl it around. It seems like it picked up a lot of color. It might be just this blush too. So I'm definitely going to tap that off. I think because it's flat, it kind of picked up more because it just kind of swirled it around, which you wouldn't want because you don't want to have too much blush. But So I'm just going to apply this right here. So there's lots of powder flying off of there. So it doesn't seem like it blended it out good enough. And it applied a lot of color because it is a flat brush. So there it is right there. See it's kind of patchy. I'm not sure if you guys can even see that. But it's kind of patchy. Like there's a lot of color here and right there. It's not really, even though it was rounded all on the brush. So that applied it okay. Not the best for that type of blush. So then I'm going to try it with my Sigma one. This time I'm just going to kind of dab it but it's still all over the brush. And then I'm gonna apply this right here. So this one seemed to really blend it better, but it did apply a lot of blush, so it just kinda of depends on how much you want. But this one did blend it better because it is more dense. So there's the two. So for this, for the powder blush, I would prefer using the Sigma one, um, but it does apply a little bit more. If I only wanted a little bit of cover, like a little bit of color, like a really light finish, then I would probably use this. But you would just have to kind of pinch it to blend it, um, so you could blend it better. So I think that these, both of these brushes, is actually better for contouring and bronzer and stuff than it is for blush, just because you're really buffing it in when you're doing a bronzer and stuff because you don't want it to appear muddy. So I definitely think that these would work good for bronzer and stuff better than it would for blush. So. so overall I think that these two brushes are very comparable. They're very similar. The only difference is this one spreads out a little bit more and this one's much more dense. So it just depends on what you're wanting to use it for and what product you're going to use it for. I think that these both work best with liquid foundation um, to blend out liquid foundation and stuff. This is going to apply it you know, all over your face, but it's not going to buff it in as much. And this one's really going to buff it in. But I also found that this one gave a more like flawless looking coverage because it didn't just slide it around. It kind of just stuck it right on there and blended it out well. So they both work really well for liquid foundation. Um, if you're talking mineral foundation, 
Um, I definitely thought that um, this one applied it a little bit better. This one made it seem like I had to use a lot of product because it was applying so much coverage. So it just depends on how much coverage you want. Um, but these are definitely, this one definitely works really well with just a pressed powder or a loose powder um, because it's not as dense. It's just going to apply it lightly all over your face. Like if you wanted to put powder on your teeth and stuff, it works really well for that. Um, so these are definitely great dupes for each other. This, they're very similar. It just kind of depends on what you want it for. Um, you could use them for contouring a blush like I showed you, but I still prefer like a blush brush or a stippling brush for that kind of stuff or an angle blush brush for contouring and stuff like that. But you can definitely use these for a lot of things. I definitely think that this one probably has a lot more uses out of it just because it is pretty fluffy. So you can kind of adjust it if you want to make it fluffy for um, powder or if you wanted to make it more dense for liquid foundation you could kind of just pinch it when you do it so I think this one definitely has a lot more uses and they're very different in price um, I think I forgot to mention the price um, I'm not sure I think this one was probably like three dollars since it is a studio brush or it could have been five I will have it all listed on my blog and everything comparison and pictures and all but um, this is either like three or five dollars and then this one I think was around like fifteen or 13 or something like that so there's a huge price difference it's at least about ten dollars of a difference in price and you're going to get a lot more uses out of this one so it just depends on what you're wanting to use it for and i hope this helps you guys out um, i'm going to look for more look for less videos in battle of the brands videos i'm going to have some coming up with some eyeliners i plan on um, reviewing the maybelline the new um, pencil eyeliner one i'm going to be comparing that to some higher end ones and I also want to compare two higher end eyeliners to see which one works the best. So look out for those videos coming up soon. Make sure you check out my skincare routine that I just posted and then also my makeup collection if you guys missed that I did do a vanity tour and all that stuff. And then if you're still interested in my back to school series, I'll have all that listed below. So go to my blog for a list of the products that I mentioned and then also where you can get these two brushes and then I'll have pictures of them compared side by side so you can really see the difference. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you soon. Bye everybody.